A silver-eyed, hungry wolf wanders the wasteland. The solitude-loving Gale Force Overlord, Zorokin, is here! Looking like a fake Chip Zanif. Now stand back, amateurs. It's my sworn duty to fight the lost. Is he supposed to be a ninja of some kind? Uh, huh? Where are all the lost? You're a little late there, kid. We've already super beat them up. Super beat the ass. <laughs> what? You guys really beat up the lost? Yes, that's correct. My servants and I did. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> you guys are pretty good. I'll cut you guys some slack today. We'll meet again. I love the la la in this song. Uh, the little, the little voices going la la, la la. I like that. <laughs> He must have taken Remarkable Parting Shots 101. <laughs> he said he was an overlord, but he reeks of being a small fry. Do such overlords exist? I don't know. Whoever he is, doesn't make any difference to me. Episode 3. His name is Zerokin. Zerokin? I call them Zero Kin. Zerokin. All right, Zerokin, we're back on base. <laughs> What's wrong, Sir Kilia? That seductive ass saxophone in the back. <laughs> You're not thinking of fighting Void Dark all by yourself again, are you? And what if I am? What are you gonna do about it? She'll probably shoot you in the back. Sir Kilia, you are mine. I will use all my force to stop you. That's such a silly thing to say. Even with your strength, it's reckless to fight Void Dark all by yourself. You'll be throwing away your life. Those guys are unbelievable. To think Red Magnus wanted to get them to join our rebel army. They just took off. Oh, what are they talking about? Red Magnus, were you really trying to recruit them? It looked more to me like you were threatening them. <laughs> What's going on here, you guys? Is this a party? It's gotta be a party! <laughs> they just walk off. This is nothing. It was merely a lover's quarrel. So, do you guys have any good news? No. Everyone simply walks away as soon as they hear Void Dark's name. Damn. Ain't that scared of Void Dark? It seems like Void Dark's plan is working to perfection. At this rate, it's only a matter of time until all of the Netherworlds are taken over. It's like Void Dark represents copyright law. Everybody's too afraid to take it on. <laughs> it's like, no, nah, man. Ain't work. No, nah, man. Screw that. So all these rebels are actually YouTubers. <laughs> Let's say it like that. All the rebels are actually gaming YouTubers. Kill it. Nice timing, dude. You can now use the squad shop. Oh, wow. I'm finally finishing orga uh, organizing my files. Let me apologize for making you wait. You're now able to use the squad shop. Squad shop, huh? You can now call a meeting of the strategy assembly. What? What the hell's that? There you can discuss various topics and get your bills approved. Prepare a lot of mana and items and then talk to the receptionist. Play night. Plone plain air? Plone air? I'll be waiting. Huh. Use dual magic change can now be suggested. Huh? Establish the boot camp squad. The boot camp squad. What? Establish the channeling squad. What the? Maya Faye? Mia Faye? Relief party unlocked. What? What the hell is going on? The quest just got added? The quest, one hell savings. Nin -nin -nin -nin. I'm a pro thief. Heal me. Study together. What the? What the? What, the, what is going on? There's too much happening. Too much is happening. We unlock too much. First of all, let's talk to Serafina. Serafina, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. According to my data, Void Dark has taken control of one third of all the Netherworld. <laughs> 
copyright company. Oh my god. One third. One third. I don't get it. But that means it involves a three and a one. So, so it can't be that much, right? <laughs> it's a super huge amount, plus at a super ridiculous speed. Correct. Looking at this from a historic perspective, no single force has ever controlled as much of the netherworld. At this rate, the, uh, the entire netherworld, excuse me, will fall under Void Dark's hand. What are those other overlords doing? They're completely useless. They're all probably scared and super trembling in fear. How pitiful of all the known overlords to just stand around with their arms crossed and do nothing. We're in the same situation. We haven't reached Void Dark yet. It's pitiful. At our current strength, we can only disrupt the losses and invasions. But if we can gain more strength through the rebel army, we'll have a chance of winning. We must pull our strength together and fight. Pull our strength together. He's remembering. Let's check out the squad shot, Mihane. Awesome! Oh my god, is that Chie? Thank you for waiting patiently. Welcome to the squad shop. You can assign your uh, allies to squads and gain different effects. For example, enhancing facilities or gaining more advantages in battle. You can make your one-of-a-kind squad. Okay. Organized squad, eh? Enables the use of capture. Whoa. Interrogation squad. Enhances the use of the interrogation room. Relief party. Allies in the base panel recover every turn. What? Allies in the base. So if we send them back to the base, they recover. Oh, wow. Life support unit. Enhances operations in the pocket netherworld. So we can have one person go around enhancing stuff. So we can make so many different squads. The relief party. Allies in the base panel recover every turn. I don't get this squad that much. Support labor squad. What the hell? Okay, let's display squad effect. Base panel heals HP by members times 1%. Squad limit 2. Okay. Squads, huh? Damn, we're gonna get a lot of people in there. So I guess enable the use of capture. So I guess I should make this squad. Oh, wow, we got geese. We got geese on our team now. Okay, so you know what? I think the capture squad should go to like the main people. Achillea is always gonna be out. Unless I, it, maybe if I put them into a squad, can they be released in combat? I don't know. Seraphina's coming in. And we're gonna have your boy, Red Magnus. And then Farah's joining in on this. Farah. Crystal is not gonna be a part of that. So I guess he's gonna be the leader. Dark Orb, yup, yup, yup. War Demon tells you all the stats and blah, 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 blah. All right, enable the use of capture. So these guys, okay, able to capture weakened unit. Okay, improve effect of capturing. So we can capture weakened units, range of one, and then we can improve it to be able to capture weakened units. Range of nine. Wow. Squad limit plus two. So we get, the more we level it up, the more. Wow. This is cool. I think I like the idea of squads. And then as we go further into the game, we unlock different, uh, or a different type of squads. Like maybe we'll get like the, the OP squad where they just release ridiculous amounts of damage on top of an enemy or something. I don't know, but look at all these different squads we can get. Relief party. I guess we should make that like our healers or whatever. Like, uh, dude, dude, he always gets sent back because we usually make him a sword, right? So if he gets sent back to the base, they he will pretty much get healed up while he's in the base after he gets used by Farah. So they, yeah, that'd be interesting. And then we're going to have Crystal. We're going to have like Amy Jo. Amy Jo is just... She's in a league of her own right now. <laughs> Amy Joe's too godlike. So we got Geese. Um, Zelda maybe? The interrogation squad. Enhances the use of the interrogation room. We can only make one. You know what? Amy Joe would handle that. <laughs> Amy Joe will handle the interrogations. 
<laughs> Yo, this game is fun. It's like, it's so hard to play this game because it's like, it, I'll have too much fun with it and then I gotta play Tales of Zestera and I'll have more fun with that game and it's like, I come back to here and it's like, I'm playing too, playing this game and it's too much fun. It's like, it's a good day to be a damn RPG a lover, I tell you that. Relief party, dude. To be honest, I don't think we're gonna be using Taylor R too much anymore. Minerva might be, wanna be a part of that. Leon, Zelda. Fife is Jude, maybe? Fife is Jude. Narika. What about the life support unit? Enhances operations in a pocket netherworld. Maybe that should actually be... Let's have Arya do that. Can I not use her in battle anymore? I wonder if that's the case. So if that's the case, maybe we should, like, get somebody higher level. Well... I was maybe I should make Amy Joe because look at her, she's a May 8 level 17. Yeah, Amy Joe should be the life support unit because of how high her level is. No, I don't think she can be the same. Yeah, she can't be the leader of two squads. So I guess for the interrogation squad, we're gonna have geese, <laughs> geese of the dead. He <laughs> a dead man's interrogating you. A dead man doesn't care about you because he's dead. He's he's not gonna give a damn. Alright, so we got our squad set up. Let's go check out the uh, strategy assembly. <laughs> Red Magnus invited the demons around here. Why aren't they joining the rebel army? How did you invite them? Naturally, first Red Magnus grabs them by the length. <laughs> Lapel gi gives them a swift headbutt and says, Want to play rebel army with the supreme one? <laughs> then most of them leave money and run away. <laughs> I only have one thing to say. That's not inviting them, it's called robbery. Really? <laughs> Red Magnus, you're an idiot. But we love you, oh my god. Plain air, why are you so ridiculously high level with high stats? You want to call the strategy assembly? Can we do it? Success rate. Zelda. Reincarnation. Whoa! Reincarnate the character and start over from one. Better items at the store. Give item to a friend. Give it, give a friend something nice. So that's a... Um, oh, this is a network. Like, you see that world, the globe? The globe with the link around, uh, going around the globe? I guess that's, like, for connecting to the internet and giving a friend something useful. Triple experience. Triple experience earned on the next map. Successful praise. Double mana earned on the next map. Triple experience earned by a unit below 10, level 10 on the next map. Wow, that's actually pretty useful. Hog all experience. Unit steals all the experience earned on the next map. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Bonus gauge will start at level 3 on the next map, and it only costs 10 mana. This actually might be a great way to obtain bonuses. Bonus rank will be too higher on the next map. Critical situation. Fully charged. A revenge gauge of the first ally on the... Wow. Friends for the strategy assembly just looks like cheat codes. <laughs> Friends for a day. The team attack chance for all allies will be 100% on the next map. Explode ridiculously. Multiply the explosive range of allies by five on the next map. Exceed the limit. Magic change will turn turns will be unlimited on the next map, but it costs so much mana. Hog all mana. Round up HL from senators of the dark assembly. Will surely be denied. I need more war funds. This, what if you get that success rate to work? I wonder how much money you can get. I might try to like save scum right here and try to get that 1% to activate and see how much money I can get, but I'm not going to do it on camera. Prennies will come to the pocket netherworld from somewhere. So we can invite Prennies. Invite lucky boards. Lucky, luck boards will come to the pocket. What the hell is luck boards? Gather all fragments of power into one. Lose attached innocence. Meet a senator from the wrestler party to build better relations, really. Rule, eat shrooms, use dual magic change. It allows you to use two magic change weapons at once, wow. Establish the boot camp squad. Build a squad where members get a portion of the leader's experience earned. Oh, okay, this actually might be useful. So let's have Zelda do this. Crystal is attending the assembly meeting. 
This is where the strategy assembly is held. After the vote, if more than half the votes approve, the bill passes, dude. Before the vote, you can bribe the senators so that they'll vote to approve your bill, dude. Also, if you leave the hall without a vote, it might not won't be refunded. Oh, wow. Be careful when you take bathroom breaks. Okay. Strongly for. Alright, they're strongly for it. In favor of. Okay. Total support. Total support. Total support. I think we can go for the votes. We don't have to bribe anyone. Total support. I don't know about Crystal. Maybe I should bribe him. I can't talk to him? Senator plays all day. <laughs> Senator Sticky. He's strongly for it. Everyone seems to be in favor of it. I don't see why this would fail. I mean, come on, guys. They're all totally for this. Let's do it. Begin the vote. Crystal conspicuously flashed some bribes. What the? Let me show you. He's bribing them. <laughs> That's what you get for doing that. <laughs> hey, I established the boot camp squad has been approved. Yes, we can get the boot camp. Oh yeah, this is hype. <laughs> this is hype. <laughs> Let's go do the boot uh, the boot camp. Awesome. Organizing files is breaking my back. So we should be able to do it now, right? Bootcamp squad. Gain portion of the experience earned by the leader in battle. So I'm thinking I should have my strongest person just mollywop all the enemies and then they get a portion of everything that they get. But the only person that's suitable to be the leader is Amy Joe again. Damn. Maybe I can have Kilia not be the leader of that one. But if he's a part of that squad, if he's a part of the capture squad, maybe somebody else would be a good person to be a part of that uh, capture squad. This dude is... Maybe I should have Firefish Jude on here instead. The capture squad should be these guys. Because they're usually out. I always have these guys out. Hmm. Killy is usually out on the field fighting. So Firefish Jude... I'll have him be the leader of that. Firefish Jude is now out of the relief party though, so I need to put maybe... I know there's probably some better options, but it's it's whatever though. I'll probably put Arya... No, the Mudkip Donkeys will be a part of this squad. And then Boot Camp Squad. Killy's gonna be the leader of the Boot Camp Squad. I mean, he's already been teaching everybody stuff, so Arya needs to be leveled up, so yeah. Any low-level units that we want to level. I'm thinking maybe Minerva. Yeah, Minerva needs to be up. Maybe Dude, too. Yeah, Dude. Yeah. This looks good. The boot camp squad. Alrighty. I think this will be good. Maybe there's a way to, you know, maybe I'm, there's probably like optimization stuff I could do, but I think we're going to just do that. I want to spend forever here, you know. So let's see. We did the squads. We did the, I think we need to heal. Let's fix you I think up. after each chapter they heal you though for free, right? Yeah, it looks like they do. We got a lot of money too. Hey, I think we might actually be able to, uh... Yeah. Guys are simple minded. All I have to do is act cute in their mind. Damn. For real though? You gotta. Why you gotta you like need that? something? Anyway. Let's hire a character. We can finally get an orc. We can get an imp too. We can also get a pirate. So I think we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna try to get an orc. Their magic change is an axe. And then is a gun. Let's get an imp so we can give. Freaking Serafina, a, a gun. Hell yeah. HD? HD. Alright, I'm gonna look through the names on my list. You know what? We're gonna, you know what? I already got a good name. We're gonna call this guy Rugio. We're putting in Rugio. <laughs> Rugio! <laughs> Rugio! Alright, there we go. We're making Rugio an imp. And he's gonna be, he's, he's gonna be a gun. He's gonna be a gun. 
and we're gonna have him a, as a, dis, a a very distinguished imp. All right. So bullying was his evilty or uh, evility? Excuse me. His evility is bullying, which I believe he gets um higher stats. He does more damage uh, because if if he's on a higher level than the enemy. So what we're gonna do? Looks like. It's mainly gonna be speed and attack, so maybe two attack. No, let's do six attack and two speed. Yeah, we're gonna make this dude level eight. Make him level nine, because we got money. Here I go. Villainous imp. I'm coming! Mis <laughs> mischievous imp? Yeah. Butler imp. Hmm. Wanna die? Yo, that's epic. I gotta go with the butler imp. He's got that deep voice. Ooh, that's sick. I like that white. Let's go with the white. The white and the pink and the purple and the blue and the red. Ain't matching, but he Caillou. He, he ain't matching like he's Caillou, yo. Rugio! Nice. So now we have a, a, a character that can level up and actually be of use to Serafina, helping her dish out more damage by turning into a uh, weapon for Serafina, which is gonna be very useful. So what we wanna do now is pretty much be on our way towards the next map. So I'm actually going to... I'm actually gonna put that dude in a squad awesome. really quick. Let's actually put him in the capture squad, mate. No, he doesn't need to be, because Serafina's gonna be using him, so... If anything, we would probably want him to be in the boot camp squad. Not the boot camp squad, but the relief party so he can recover health when he gets sent back after being a weapon for like three turns. So Rugio is going to be in a relief party. Certain giant overlord, huh? So what we want to do now is actually go pimp out um, Welcome. our imp really quick. We need to buy him some stuff. Catcher's mint. Oh, cross trainers. Oh, wow, increases movement by four. Or excuse me. The jump. The jump increases the, the four by four. Okay. We actually might want to give this to our imp. Yes. Speed goes up greatly. Hell yeah. Let's give that to him. We're also going to give him... What is it? Metal of Sloth. Intelligence? No, we need attack. So attack would be this. Wait. Excuse me. Is he more fitted for intelligence than attack? Let's actually try on. He can actually... Oh, that's a geese. That's geese I'm looking at. This guy is actually just about the same. So you can use either or. That's, that's useful, I guess. So I guess what we would want to do... It's probably buff up his attack since he's going to be used as a gun, right? So, we want to buff up his attack and hit. So, we're going to give him the Jellyfish Stinger. There we go. Not enough hell. What the hell? What do you mean I ain't got enough hell? I thought I had enough hell. What the hell? Welcome. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell, man? So, you know, it looks like we're going to have to make some money. What the? It's now being held. Anyway, let's look for stuff we can sell. I thought I had enough money, but I guess not. Hook claw. I guess we can sell this hook claw. We can sell this wooden cane. It's not that great. Woodcutter's axe. We can sell that. It's not that great. Customized replica. Uh, it's not that great. Wooden bowl. It's not that great. Wave spear. All right, Welcome. so now we can buy that for that guy. I'm probably gonna, I haven't grinded in this game for a minute for money. I, I mean, I need to farm for money. That's the main, pri that's the primary thing I really need is money. So right now, again, I'm going to buy him the Jellyfish Stinger? Or did I already buy that? Wouldn't that be messed up if I already had that? There we go. So now that guy is kinda decked out. Rugio. All right, there we go, Rugio. So now what I want to do is talk to this golden printing. Take this, dude! Don't surprise me, dude! Don't just start talking to me out of nowhere! My inside nearly fell out. Oh my god. That guy's crazy. <laughs> Let me take care of the prisoners, yes? I'm actually low on guinea pigs. 
hmm, maybe I should put her in charge of interrogations. And you know, when she levels up, we'll put her in charge of interrogations. Where would you like to go, dude? Uh-oh, Sarah, she knows wrong. Hey, Sarah, why are you making that face? What's wrong? I wish Sir Kilia had asked me that. <laughs> Red Magnus is bad. By the way, what do you think about Kilia? Why did you ask that all of a sudden? <laughs> Knowing you, you probably have everything planned out. You're having trouble with Kilia. I mean, that's not like you. Could it be that you've fallen in love with him or something? <laughs> Damn, the pretty no! <laughs> love? Surely you jest. I am the temptress princess overlord, Seraphina. I have guys in the palm of my hand. I would never allow myself to fall in love with them. Holy goodness. As a matter of fact, are you really concerned about others? You always spout that childish nonsense about becoming the strongest overlord, but you never take care of your netherworld. Seraphina out here saying, I don't love these bros. <laughs> Goodbye. I truly feel bad for your netherworld from the bottom of my heart. What did you say? Why are you shouting all of a sudden? What happened? I know you two aren't the best of friends, but that didn't seem pleasant. It's nothing! What is it, Kilia? Looks like you want to say something. Nope. Whatever load you've been carrying on your shoulders is none of my business. So I'm just gonna sit here and sip this tea. R Red Magnus isn't <laughs> carrying any load on his shoulders? Um, is everyone fine then? From the information I've obtained, the lost have appeared in Poison Dice. Poison Dice? Poison Dice is not a huge netherworld, but as anyone who has heard of it will know, it's a famous resort area. Now, I know this may seem weird, but people have been telling me Crystal is voiced by the Super Smash Brothers announcer. That is kinda outrageous if you think about it. He goes from the super deep man voice, Super Smash Brothers, to Crystal's very angelic act. Like, it, it's, it's, it's kind of like, wow, this dude's got that range, huh? <laughs> He's got that range. He is insane to even think that this guy voiced the Super Smash Brother announcer. But that's merely a facade. It is where all the poison experts are. I don't believe it. I, I need proof. Someone show me proof that this dude is the Super Smash Brother announcer. If they fall under the hand of Void Dark, many netherworlds will live in constant fear of being poisoned. However, the history books will tell of how Poison Dice was defended by the rebels. Today will be our first battle as a rebel army. Now is the time to raise the flag of rebellion. We need to protect Poison Dice from Void Dark and turn it into a base for our rebel army. Damn, you guys serious? I see. So you want to free the netherworlds that were claimed by the Lost and fold them into our army, correct? That's great. That will increase the number of men who will serve me. <laughs> Man. Are you talking about a battle for territory against Void Dark? Awesome! Red Magnus is getting super pumped for this! She's like a female misogynist. I just don't know the word for it. <laughs> the Rebel Army. Is it just a coincidence? Or is it inevitable that all these overlords have gathered together? Times are already changing, whether I like it or not. Times are changing, people say. 